So Sam, uh, Sam is a financial planner uh, working with uh, me. I'm Sanjeev Gupta, CPA. So Sam, quick question for you. A lot of people ask this question. Um, so is there anything a business owner or individual tax filer, individual tax uh, filer can do anything after December 31st for sure. retirement planning? Yeah, so you get to the 31st and you're like, hey, I need a tax deduction. As a business owner, there's a few things you can still do. You still have time to put in place a SEP IRA, self-employed pension or SEP IRA. So, so SEP IRA, what's the limit of SEP IRA? So for SEP IRA for 2019, you can do either 25% of your W-2, if you're S Corp, for example, 25% of your W-2, or if you don't have that model like your LLC, um, you can do 20% of your net profit. Can so, go into it. Yes, yeah, so people get confused with SEP IRA and the profit sharing. Can you mm -hmm. give some idea about Yeah, so SEP IRA is one. Profit sharing is a little different. Uh, what that is, is it's similar uh, in the mechanism. However, what's happening on the profit share, you're usually doing it not in the IRA, it's actually its own plan. It's actually on the chassis of a 401k. Okay. It's actually not an IRA, it's on the 401k chassis. Okay. So that's really the main difference. Okay, so, so they can, they, could they, uh, can they invest in stocks and mutual funds or they yeah, just have to just do the mutual fund part in profit sharing What's a SEP IRA? SEP IRA, I think you can invest in yeah. stocks and everything. So there's more flexibility in the SEP IRA for sure. You'll be able to do different types of investments. You can even do self-directed if you wanted to. Uh, the profit share is a little more confined to the mutual fund companies. Mutual fund. So it's basically just the investment companies that offer these different platforms. And typically, the mutual fund companies are the ones that do the profit share plans. Okay. So what else? Uh, so uh, what else? Yeah. We were talking about. So you were talking about SEP. What else they can do? Yeah. So SEP, SEP, and then there's the profit share, like you um, mentioned. There's simple IRAs. There's still time to do those. Oh, simple IRAs still they can. Yes. Do? Okay. Yeah. This is a little beneficial if you have eligible employees. Mm -hmm. So the next level up, you can still do that. With some caveat, there is some nuance there, but. Those are basically it. SEP IRA, profit share, and simple IRAs. What for about individual tax filers? For the individuals, there's basically just one, and that is a regular traditional IRA. So if you still need a tax deduction, you have till you file your personal taxes to put into an individual IRA. Of course, they have ATI limitations. Right. And, uh, so you just suppose working, working, not working in retirement plans. That's right. Uh, what about non deductible IRAs? Do you know? Uh, do you have any, yeah. any so, thought process on that? Yeah. Or not? So the non-deductible IRA is a good strategy if you're trying to do what's called the backdoor IRA, which means your AGI is too high to contribute to a Roth IRA, but you want to start building some tax-free income for yourself in retirement. You fund a non-deductible tax IRA, then you immediately convert that to a Roth. See, there's a limit how much you contribute to the IRA, that's Based on AGI. Yeah. Your AGI is one eighty nine. Right. That's so, but yeah. rollovers yeah. are trans those transfers. There's no limit on your AGI. Okay. So, so that's a good that's a good uh, thing for the individual tax filers. Uh, we do recommend to our clients start looking into backdoor Roth because mm -hmm. money goes yes. tax free in the Roth. That's right. And it makes sense. It right? grows tax deferred and it's withdrawn tax free. Okay. So, and there's a five year rule and other things. Right? Yeah, so you can get okay. your principal back after five years. So, so yeah, if you're not only looking at tax savings, if you're looking to grow your money tax-free, this mm -hmm. is a Roth, backdoor yes. Roth, you can do that. Talk to your tax professional and the, uh, make sure that you do the backdoor Roth or financial planner, yeah. right? Yeah. Financial planner can guide them or how they invest uh, this, sure. or they can open this account, SEP IRA, if it's not. Yeah, IRA. you can always go direct to these, these companies. A lot of companies out there offer it. Mm -hmm. If you want a little more guidance, you can come to a financial planner like me to see how it fits in the global perspective. Okay. But a lot of what I do when people come to me is the majority of people are putting all their retirement savings in tax deferred accounts, right? So what they're betting on is they're gonna be in a lower tax bracket when they reach retirement, which may or may not be true. Right. So everybody's making a lot of money. By yeah, the way. <laughs> of course, of course. And we don't want to defer the taxes as much as we can. Yes. But we also have to keep an eye on the future as well. So wrapping this up uh, topic for today is uh, any thought process, how you can help this our client uh, sure. in doing this? What, what will be your keys or anything or what will you advise on this idea? Yeah, there's two levels of uh, services I offer. If someone wanted to come look and see, hey, I just want to look at 
Should I do a Roth or a traditional IRA? How should I do that? There's no fee for that. I'll just give them some ideas, get to know them, put the proposals together. And if they decide to do the IRA with me, we'll discuss you know, my fee for ongoing service at that point. If someone wanted a global financial plan, they wanted to look at see how they're gonna turn these into retirement income, and they wanna look at some other components in their financial life, I charge 1,500 for a financial plan. Whether they do anything with me, it's up to them. I build them the plan. If they wanna go do it themselves, that's fine. If they wanna do it with me, that's great too. One more last question I have. Sure. Question. So what's the distinction between you and uh, Purses Online? Uh, like on going to online and like fidelity.com website and I'm just making the payments. Well, the big thing is guidance, right? Just like in your profession, people can do TurboTax, right? And that's appropriate for some people. But once you get to a level of success and wealth, you're really going to want some guidance because you don't know what you don't know, right? So that's why I've switched to this model where I charge a planning fee so people can get an idea of how everything is working together and whether they implement with me or they go do it themselves, that's fine. So in the end, they can still go to their fidelity if that's what they like, but at least I can give some professional advice. So, so you're listening to us. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, listening to us. And uh, of course, there are options available for all of you. Uh, whether you're individual tax file or business owners, definitely you can talk to your CPA or the financial planner and get the right things for you. Uh, always keep investing sure. and keep growing the money. Thank you. Absolutely.